We had some exciting news come out recently about a client, Dot Foods, acquire a company called Shop Hero. Uh, you can see the press release here. Dot Foods is North America's largest food industry redistributor. What a redistributor is, they buy from a lot of manufacturers and food suppliers, and then they actually sell to other food distributors. Right? So they actually a step in between from manufacturer to distributor, announces the acquisition of Shop Hero, a leading grocery-focused e-commerce technology company with the support of platform consultancy firm Applico. This is a really great story. Dot Foods is a really interesting company. Shop Hero, also a really interesting company, coming together to you know, provide more digital solutions uh, for, in this case, you know, the grocery customers of Dot Foods, right? So who, who is that? That is grocery stores and other kind of grocery wholesalers. Uh, so it's not so much there's the food service part of the business and then there's the grocery part of the business. So this is really focusing on the grocery part of the business. And then um, ultimately, what are grocers doing? Grocers are selling to uh, the end consumer. And so what Dot is helping to do here is helping to enable their customers, in this case, the grocery retailers and the grocery wholesalers, with technology, e-commerce capabilities, uh, extra inventory and product catalog expansion, product data, all of these things that marketplaces and tech monopolies are very, very good at doing and deploying for themselves. How can Dot help enable the smaller players, many of whom are Dot's customers, with similar kinds of technological assets? And I think this is a really interesting example of Dot saying, hey, we know our customers need this help. We know we aren't in the best position to do it ourselves. We can do a lot of great things on our own, but we recognize that we have a gap. And this company, Shop Hero, can fill that gap and help our customers and overall Dot have a more holistic and comprehensive value prop and, and, and solution for Dot's customers. The great thing about this is what you typically see with tech monopolies is they will often do the same thing, right? They will give away technology. They will subsidize that um, kind of software value in exchange for the network and, and, and capturing the network. Everyone knows how that script gets played out is the tech monopoly gives you a bunch of free stuff up front. You, you adopt, you get addicted, and then eventually they cram you down on margins or they cut you out of the transaction altogether. Hmm, who does that pretty well? Oh, a small company by the name of Amazon um, and a bunch of other tech monopolies. That's why um, you know we talk about regulation all the time on the show. But anyway, the great thing about what our clients and Dot Foods in this case can help do um, is provide similar kinds of capabilities, if not better, better capabilities, because it's intertwined with the existing services that Dot is already providing. But the but the special part is. That's not here to screw all these grocery customers and, and these existing customers of Dot, which ultimately is what the tech monopolies will end up doing when you play the script out, you know, all the way down, you know, three, five years down the road, right? They're ultimately going to cram you down and try to cut you out. Why? Because the tech monopolies like an Amazon ultimately want to go to who? The supplier, the manufacturer. We've seen this a myriad of times on Amazon B2C, right? So coming from an incumbent, coming from a company that you can trust like Dot, to me is a no brainer. If you're that grocery retailer, if you're that, you know, smaller grocery wholesaler, right? And you say, do I want this stuff from a tech monopoly um, or, or even to some extent, you know, a, a VC backed company that I know has to go public and I know the VCs have invested in the winner take all business model. That means that ultimately I'm going to get crammed down sometime in the future. Or do I want, you know, a similar, if not better, holistic solution from the traditional enterprise that I know and I can trust? I think you're going to see a lot more of these decisions, not just in the dot foods example, but in a, in a bunch of different examples where you're starting to see traditional enterprise team up with up and coming tech companies, right? Up and coming tech companies are being crammed down by the tech monopolies just as much, if not more, as the traditional enterprises are being crammed down. How do we help bring both of these worlds together to fight back and win 
against the tech monopolies. And Dot Foods acquiring Shapiro is a great example of that. Hi, I'm Alex. Thanks for watching the show. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, but even better, make sure to follow us on Odyssey, follow us on Rumble, and text us 203-646-5159. Text the word Monopoly. You'll be subscribed. You'll get updates about when we're going live, our latest videos, and we'll send you even a little goodie bag. And in the event that we all get banned from big tech, we'll still be connected.